Today's video, we're going to be going over Y option wheel out of the gun Y off trips path formation. This formation is also known as the U trips formation, and it's in the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to get my entire Patriots offensive ebook going over formations like U trips and trips head in and gun bunch, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description. For just $10, it will make you a better Madden player, and you get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks. Now, today we're taking a look at a specific route combination that I love out of the play Y option wheel because it is a quick snap play that is going to beat the majority of coverages that you face online. The only adjustment we're going to make to this play is we're going to put our tight end on a corner route and we're going to snap the ball as fast as we possibly can. What you're going to see is this tight end corner route from a tight end apprentice or hot route master is going to do a really, really good job of being able to consistently attack the right side of the screen. This is essentially going to be a sale concept that is also going to be really good against man coverage because we have routes like this running back wheel route and the running back wheel route is going to do a good job if they do play man to man coverage, even if they do something like this, this is actually a really popular uh, adjustment from people where they will do a scissor adjustment over here on the left hand side if they're putting anybody in man coverage on the running back that is close to the line of scrimmage he is going to absolutely roast them on this cut and it's going to be a potential one play score for your offense so this play does not only do a good job against beating man coverage to the right and to the left, but it's also going to do a really good job of beating man coverage over the top if they are falling asleep at the wheel and maybe doing something like playing a cover one press style of coverage. If they are not putting safeties on both sidelines or they don't have deep protection, your wheel route and your fade over here on the right are going to do a really good job of being able to take the top off the defense and make them have to respect the fact that you could hit them over the top. So once you start to hit them over the top, they're going to have to do certain things. One of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to adjust to that. And then they're also going to have to adjust to the fact that you have a tight end corner route that does a really good job of beating man coverage. And so if the user goes to the right to defend the tight end corner, you are going to throw backside to the left to hit your uh, post route in the middle of the field. Now, if your user decides, hey, I want to actually just defend the middle of the field, as you'll see right here, then you're going to have this opening to the outside. So the beauty of this play is it is an if this, then that play, and it's very difficult for your opponent to adjust to that. One of the best adjustments that a lot of people like to do against this type of offense is they're going to go to a defense that kind of looks something like this, and you're going to see why this makes this actually a really, really good offense because the user still has to sit in the middle of the field to be able to defend the post route. So because the user still has to fit in the middle of the field to defend the post route, watch this little pocket in which we can throw the tight end corner before he actually gets to a cloud flat defender even if your opponent is making what i would say is probably the perfect adjustment to this setup which is this kind of combination or this kind of adjustment sequence right here they're going to have a really good chance of being able to play a lot of what you have but the problem is again they have to use her the post route in the middle of the field or they have to take this corner right away because we can throw the corner out thanks to the spacing of the formation before he gets to the cloud flat defender. Now, if your opponent is running cover four or cover three, most of the time that's going to mean they are probably putting cover four with hard flats or cover three with five yard curl flat zones. What you're going to see out of this play right here is it's just going to do a really good job of spacing the field uh, and really just taking advantage of those two, two defenses. So if you're ever playing somebody and you're getting a lot of press coverage and they're trying to defend your U-trips formation and they're maybe giving you an alignment like this where they're not backing off that outside defender on the right side, this is a great route combination to go to because that's going to communicate it's probably cover three or cover four or maybe even man coverage, and this play is really good against all those coverages. Now, the play that this play does, I think, kind of struggle with, especially if they're dropping a lot of zones, is a drop eight cover two or drop eight Tampa two where they have a vertical hook. Let me explain why. The vertical hook is the key zone that you need on this play because what you're going to see is that vertical hook is going to take away this throwing lane where, I so, where I'm so frequently able to throw the tight end corner route against basic cover two defenses. How, however, one of the most popular defenses in the game right now is essentially what I'm about to show you here. It's essentially a double flat or double Mabel defense where that slot corner is going to take the flat, that cloud flat is going to take kind of that intermediate flat area, and then that safety is going to take the deep outside line. So what you're going to see right here, though, is if they do that adjustment, I can throw this before he gets to that cloud flat defender, as you can see. So the key adjustment that they can do to stop this or slow this play down is to utilize a vertical hook. Because they have to utilize a vertical hook, there's several other things that can come open. Most notably on both sides, you're going to be able to throw your quick flats against these outside cloud flat defenders. 
So this play is super, super well equipped to be able to handle a lot of different things. One of the underrated things that I think it can actually handle really, really well is really any kind of Sin 5 pressure. So if you get a Sin 5 pressure and let's say it looks, you know, something like this, again, they're going to be in this situation where they're going to have to choose. Are you going to guard the tight end or are you going to guard the backside solo receiver? As you can see right here, the backside solo receiver is able to cut inside and get us some separation. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is how to run a sale concept out of the trips or the U-Trips formation. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. Um, we broke it down out of the Patriots playbook, got a lot of other good stuff in there out of the Patriots playbook as well. Thanks for watching the video and to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.